One of the oldest instruments, the oboe, has a 3,000-year history, beginning in 2800 BC in a land known as Mesopotamia. Archaeological evidence shows that of a female statuette playing a double-piped instrument. We don't know for sure whether it is the ancestor of the oboe or not, but it is definitely possible. During the 12th century, the Shuan was brought to Europe from the east during the Crusades. The Saracen armies used this instrument in war and in their celebrations. Later on in the 14th century, the treble Shuan was produced, and from that came today's oboe. Traces of double-piped instruments were found in the Old Kingdom of Egypt as well as certain areas of Mesopotamia. One instrument in particular, the Zumara, has features similar to the modern clarinet or even more so the recorder. The clarinet can also be traced back to another ancestor, the Delta. The cylinder pipe found in ancient Greece, Persia, and India use a single reed to produce deep, mellow sounds. Today, there is another instrument, the bass clarinet. As you can see, the bass clarinet is similar to the clarinet in its color, but not in its structure. Its structure is more closely related to the bass instrument, the saxophone. The first flute or bone whistle was found and tracked back to 3,000 years ago during the Neolithic period. It was made from the mammoth bone. In Egypt, the first reed instruments were found, the Pandean pipes. The ancient Egyptians made these using hollow reeds. They found that by piercing the reeds at various intervals, it could produce different sounds. Today, there are three types of flutes, alto, bass, and concert. When compared, the flutes and the piccolo are similar in physical appearance as well as shape. The piccolo in general, though, is much smaller and plays one octave higher than the flute. The bassoon's first appearance was in 1650. In Europe, during the 1800s, many tried to improve the fingering, for it was a very tricky instrument when holding it in an upright position while sitting down. A German family known as the Heckels successfully overcame this difficulty, and you can now buy manufactured bassoons by their company. Another family of instruments, the Kirtle, came from 16th century England. There are two types of bassoons, German and French. The German word for bassoon is Fagot. The German bassoon is made from a European maple, while the French-style bassoon is made from a hard black rubber called ebonite. The contrabassoon is an instrument that is slightly larger and plays an entire octave lower than the bassoon. Bassoon and contrabassoon, we learned, have no origin. Trace back to the schwamm, which is the ancestor of the oboe. The English horn is considered to be part of the oboe family because it is bigger, uses a double reed, and produces a much lower sound than the oboe. Also, when comparing the two bells, this is the base of the instrument where the sound comes out. They are very similar in shape and size. You can see, though, the English horn has a more prominent bell. Although the English horn has the two words English and horn, this instrument has nothing in common to either the English or the horn. The instrument has been traced back to the schwamm. 